Just a quick reminder that you can win this glorious manual 997 Carrera with classicgiveaways.com. We've given away over 10 cars already. Will you be our next winner? Win it for a few quid at classicgiveaways.com. It will be a guaranteed live draw regardless of whether it sells out very soon on Instagram. See you then. Welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the frankly rather wonderful Porsche Macan GTS. Today, I'm actually at Longley Safari Park, and most importantly, we haven't broken up. We haven't broken up. Wow, we've got a story about that, haven't we? Well, for these purposes, yes, it keeps your attention up. Yes, there's some scandal, or maybe there isn't, but you'll find out. So, my lovely other half is here. And we have got the Macan GTS, which I picked up very recently on the channel. Some of you will have seen when I was getting my 997 Turbo serviced, the lovely people at Porsche Cars GB said, TG, would you like a Macan GTS? And this is a car that is of huge interest to me because this individual in here is very close to passing her test. We're going to get some info on that. Test standard, apparently. Well, we'll see with your test standard very soon, won't we? Um, so, this individual is very close to passing a test, and it's time to start hunting for a car for her. And the Macan GTS is a very hotly sought after car. Uh, they are actually trading at over list price. There is a crazy waiting list for them, and I think it's safe to say it's one of Porsche's most popular cars. Forget the GT stuff, this thing is what people are actually really, really after. The mass volumes of people are after the Macan GTS, and I can see why. Having been driving this for a few days now, I can see why people are so mad about them. Even the previous generation, or the first ones that came out, they are utterly brilliant. I remember driving one years ago when I went to Coachella, the Macan first came out, and I drove the S, and I remember thinking it just felt like, basically, kind of a Cayman or a 911 on stilts, which is no bad thing. Do you um, think it looks good on me? Uh, you look great in it. You look even better in the driving seat. Yeah, no, I mean that. I mean, do you think it is... Okay? I think it suits you. I, I don't know about the colour. The colour is punchy and obviously it looks a lot better clean. Uh, but this particular car has got winter tyres in it as well. They've literally just put these winter tyres on. Uh, and we've been down at Babington House, have we not, we have. in this car. And you'll see some of that content on Instagram. So anyway, I'm very, very happy with the car. But I will get into that as we go for a drive. So I'll jump round then. We'll come round this way. I would say we'll get her fired up, but she's already fired up with the windows demisting because otherwise we will not be able to see anything. We'll run some monkeys over. Um, we are not going to go through and film in the safari park or go through the monkey enclosure or anything like that because I don't actually want any damage to this car. Um, I don't want to have to explain to Porsche why uh, windscreen wipers are missing. Uh, but it's near Babington House. If you've ever been there, do visit Longley as well because it's around the corner. Yes. It is quite close. <laughs> it's 4K as well, so we'll get you. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't be bothered to film things in 4K, so uh, we don't do that. All right. So, interior-wise, it's actually a very nice place to be. I love this car. It's very... You actually have been... We'll get into that, actually, but I'm just going to explain from this point of view, because we won't be able to show this whilst I'm driving. Your dentures are here as well. My dentures, yeah. They look, they're looking nice, aren't they? <laughs> so gross. Let's cover them up. Let's cover them up with a GoPro. Um, all the tech is absolutely fantastic. One thing we haven't been able to find is a 12-volt um, cigarette lighter. Yeah. Wrist check then before we get going. This is actually probably the most difficult watches I've ever filmed or photographed. Is the Bulgari uh, Sajima Limited Edition Octo Finissimo in steel with some rather lovely details on the dial, which you probably can't see because the camera is um, having a, a bit of a wobbler with this one. Doesn't really know what to do with it, but yeah, great watch. 100 meters water resistant, stainless steel, lovely bit of kit. But everything is as you'd expect it to be. We've got this display ahead of us as opposed to the fully digital one on the new 992 911s, which have got five dials across there. But this is very, very good. This stuff works really, really well. There's no gripes with it whatsoever. It's not glitchy. And um, we've got all sorts of controls here. Uh, you do have off-road settings as well, which is quite interesting. And you can raise and lower the ride height on there. Obviously, the exhaust button is on and you can stiffen up the dampers there. You've obviously got your drive control here, as with all Porsches. And obviously, when you change it, you've got individual there, you've got normal and you've got sport. You don't have eco or anything like that or comfort, it's literally just normal uh, and individual is where you can make it noisy and comfortable, which is probably where uh, I would go with it and where I've been running it. Uh, but as you can see here, we've been doing low speeds recently actually, uh, around some of the safari park already, and consumption uh, on average is actually 20 miles to the gallon. Should we get going? Yes. Let's please. get going. It's getting chilly, we need to get the dogs. We'll give her a couple of revs. Mm -hmm. 
let's go. We are live, we are live. We don't have nostril cam in this episode. Um, nostril cam, I don't think would be appreciated by you. How do we get out of this hellhole? Oh, this way. Um, exits that way. Perfect. It's very cute here, isn't it? It is, it's good news. Lovely in summer to have a picnic here. Oh, I think we're in. We're in sport there, I was holding on to the gear. Um, so, first impressions, then you'll have to give your first impressions. When you first got in this car, what did you think? What did you think? First time I saw the car, I thought, ooh, orange. Not sure about that. Fine. Um, got in the car. Yep. Love it, first sight. Really? Really, really, really like this car. You are rarely complimentary, well, about no. anything, let alone my cars. I uh, just love this car. I think it's super comfortable. I think it looks like, it looks amazing. It looks fab. It's like, not it's, it's not flashy, but it's no. flashy enough just to let people know, look, I think I've classy. done all right, but everything's fine. Yeah. The family's fine. We're doing okay over here, but let's not go on about but it. That's what yeah, this guy says. Yeah. We needed a car, and yes, it's a Porsche, but just Yeah. Which is great, but it's not it's not vulgar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would feel embarrassed here in a full fat Range Rover or even a Cayenne, uh, potentially. Yeah. We yeah. did say we might come back though with <laughs> a flashy car to do a video. It would be fun. Do you know what? I actually don't want to take anything noisy through the Not safari. noisy. We'll drive it so slowly, but I just think it would be really funny. I don't want to upset any animals, obviously. The thing is, doing it in a press car is incredibly disrespectful. Oh, yeah. No, I'm saying And then doing yours. it in your own car is... Incredibly stressful. Stressful, risky. And frankly, they tear a wing mirror off. And the monkeys have been hanging off every. There's Can literally. Can you not get insurance for that? No. 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 I'm presuming you're uninsured when you drive through there. In terms of nature attacks. How did this attacks. happen? If you well, rear-end someone in there, like go into their bumper. Let me tell you. Um, but yeah, if, if the monkey pulls off your wing mirror in like a Lamborghini, it's thousands for a new one. Worth it though. If they want it, they can have it. Not enough. on this channel. The views, the money off views I get is probably about 50 quid, so <laughs> I think it'd be worth it. Um, okay, so you're happy with the car. Um, yes, I really like the car. Very complimentary about it. And mm -hmm. one thing I would say, and I touched on the consumption just before we start driving, I don't think, in terms of we're talking about getting you uh, like a run around in a car for you yeah. to pile around with the dogs in, go to Cotswolds and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think I'll go for the GTS. No. I don't think you need the pace. No. It's incredibly quick. I wouldn't want a really quick car anyway. Uh, it sounds amazing, but you don't care about that sort of stuff, do you? Don't, I mean, it sounds nice now, but do you care? No. No. Okay, so it'd be more for, if I was going to be driving in the majority of the time, I'd go for the GTS, but I think consumption-wise, we're, we're seeing low 20s, 25 on this whole journey, um, and I just don't think it's worth it. So I'd probably look at if there's a diesel variant, um, mm. or they bring out a hybrid variant. If there's a hybrid variant already. Hybrid variant would be fab. I am a Porsche nerd, but I've never really nerded out on the Macan range at all. I've never even really looked at it, and this is my first real foray into the into the model range and I'm very very impressed. It is, is that really what comfortable. This is? Macan. It's a Macan. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Macan. I don't know how they say it at Porsche, but Macan. Markan. Markan? Megan Markan. <laughs> <laughs> that is a separate video. Okay. Uh, what else? So we look at one of these. I'd probably look to get one with the small wheels and big fat tires so you could hit curbs. Oh whenever God bless you fancied. You. That's that's what I'm struggling with. I like I like to have a run in with a good curb. That's my thing. Have you curbed your learner car yet? No, because he does a lot of this. So you're not a test standard though? No, I am. I didn't I'm... do it in my last lesson. My last lesson was test so standard. So in your penultimate lesson, he grabbed the wheel? Yes. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you can claim yourself. <laughs> no, only test standard is a non wheel grab. I was a bit too close to the curb, but you, you're not going to crash if you hit a curb. You fail your test, you hit the curb? Yeah, a test, but like in life. No, you don't fail life. You hit, well, in my mind, you do. If you curb your wheels, you fail life. It's not the end of the world. As a, as a petty, pathetic, aggressive man, yeah. if I hit a curb, I feel like a failure in life. Yeah. I'd resign I from life. I, I kind of, that's just expected for me. I just, I don't really mind that. Well, should, we'll, we'll have a separate way, discussion on that. It shouldn't be in the way. Well, look, you know, if, if you do end up in a fairly nice test car. standard. We don't square off the wheels. You leave the wheels round. Okay, We're going to have some arguments. Or I'm just going to have to put plastic wheels on it or something. I don't mind what the it. wheels look like. Okay, fine. As long as they work. Good. Alright, why haven't you been on the channel for ages? Oh, we broke up. I got another boyfriend in the meantime. <laughs> He's really hot. You should see him. Just 
stunning. Anything's not You're going to cut this out, aren't you? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we've got to fill it with something. Yeah. Yeah, anything's an upgrade, to be fair. I started dating Tom Hardy, but just don't tell anyone. It's all right. Did you snap on any cash off him? No, we didn't work out. It's Why? Just, it's slightly too short for me. So I ended up back He is you. actually quite short. Yeah, but... He's not six foot six like me. <laughs> With a tailwind. Well, can you get him back in the mix and get him to give you half a mil? Right. A mil? I'll give him a call. Sure, he will. It's not that unreasonable. It's a lie, by the way. I, I, I have met him much. He's very nice, but I, I didn't date him. I think he's married with kids. Did you get neck ache looking down? Devastating. No, I, it's fine. I'd, I'd deal with that for him. <laughs> Good. Well, Tom, if you're, if you're watching, you got options. Sack the wife off. This one's keen. Oh, this is so awkward. I don't think he watches your channel. He's too cool. He's actually been at a couple of like small Audi press things in the past. Okay, and like if bits you are and watching, I'm really sorry. But no, he's. I'm I, really sorry. No one's watching this at this point, <laughs> let alone him. <laughs> nobody. Uh, Literally nobody. Oh. Good. Uh, but we didn't actually break up. I just want to clarify that no, because people, they, they'll just believe what they hear. They won't no, take we didn't break up. Okay, good. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Tell us, other than learning to drive and nearly being ready. Learning to drive. You haven't standard. done your theory yet? No, I've actually got that in a few days. I've got that on the 10th. Right. So, um, I mean, don't come for me if I don't pass that. I have been passing the mock tests. Um, but By the time the video goes out, jump over onto Ianthi's Instagram and leave her a comment asking how her theory test went, because it's on the 10th of January. So we're filming this obviously in advance. Yeah, and if I don't reply, just assume the worst. Um, then abuse her. <laughs> I do get so many messages from people being like, hey, where's your where's your green license? No, your pink license. Is it pink? Did people call it a pink license? The pink one's the past one, right? Yeah. Yeah, where's your pink license? Driving license. <laughs> Still green. Still green. Um, yeah, I mean, at that point though, then we can actually start looking, because I do want to get you a run around, because of our living arrangements, I'm all around all over the place, it'd be good to get you your own car. Yeah. And I actually don't want to give you a full-time electric car i i'll be honest i actually don't want a full-time electric car and not just because of what happened to you with the tesla although yeah. that does terrify me i yeah. think about if you had the dogs in the car that could have been really awful yeah um but also i just think as well any driver but especially a female driver being stuck at a service station at night in the car for 45 minutes waiting for it to charge no, yeah, not a my thing. My anxiety cannot deal with that. Not a thing. No. Uh, 45 minutes if you're lucky. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, there's been such queues. Um, it's kind of something's been going around on Twitter with queues at electric charging stations. So people have been queuing for about an hour to get to charge their car, and then yeah. it's about an hour. And the thing is, what a lot of people don't appreciate with these charging stations is the really, really fast charge times are if the whole thing's empty. Yeah. But a lot of these stations, if they're all being used, there's massive power draw, and actually each station is a lot slower than quoted figures. Mm -hmm. So you can be there way longer than you think. Um, so, I mean, I'm up for a hybrid, but I definitely, I'm not keen on a full on um, EV. No, I don't blame you. And I, I don't want you sat at fuel stations on your own because you don't have home charging. I do sort of have home charging one of the places I'm at, but it's not full time. Ooh. I think if you're in London and you've got home charging, fab, perfect, have an EV. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not in London, so I think not living in London, not having home charging, you've just got much further distances to travel. And to it's get expensive anywhere. you don't home charge. I do like yeah. electric cars and I'm not bashing electric cars and I, I think, think I, they will be the future. I, I will always a while to go. Sorry, I keep talking. No, no, now. please do. No, no, no. I talk nonsense. They're sick of me. They're here for you. They're still watching it. It's because of you at this point. <laughs> You're probably the only no, reason I'm they clicked really on the sorry. video. <laughs> I, but I, I do think I'm not 100% of electric cars. Fully electric cars are the fu full future. I yeah. think hybrid, synthetic fuel, and electric will be self-charging. I don't think any of this plug-in nonsense is ever going to fully, fully catch on. I don't think infrastructure will ever be at the point that. 20, 30 million cars will be able to be supported. That's my view, but yeah. I, I'm basing that on nothing but guesswork. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm actually just patiently waiting for the Polestar 3 to come out, the Polestar SUV. I've got one of those coming uh, whenever yeah, the they're- Polestar was fat. It, And there's an SUV, I, you might have seen it on my, um, on my Instagram, Polestar 3, they've basically done like a, it's about this size actually, maybe a little bit bigger. An SUV version. On your Instagram? Uh, yep, yeah, and I've done a video on it, Polestar 3, a little while ago. Remember when I went to, I want to say Denmark. Copenhagen. Is that Denmark? I don't know. 
Well, we are awful. We are so dumb. I'm actually not dumb, but I'm getting dumber. It's doing this for a living, it's making me dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I started off dumb, I'm getting even dumber. We said something really dumb last night, I can't remember what it was. What did we say at dinner? I don't know, but don't repeat it. We had it. a few drinks at dinner last night, it was fun. Hence why the chat is not hugely. We <laughs> had lots of tequila, it was super fun. Yes. No dogs in the car today, they're with my mum. No, and I'm not drunk anymore. But so. they're very, they're very good. Dogs are good, because I know you're all asking. Yeah, they go. Order of popularity on the channel, it's you, the dogs, anything else than me. I wonder who's more popular, Kim or Con? I think Crisps gets the mass vote. Yeah, I suppose so. We've had him longer, first dog vibes. Even non-dog people like Crisps, because Crisps is just like a cartoon yeah. character. Yeah. But dog people, like real doggo, dog dog people, prefer Connie. I think so. If you just so. love like smelly dogs and walks and just woofers in general, Connie is your dog. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if you just like house hippos and <laughs> ridiculous creatures, Crisp is, uh, oh, Crisp is your pick. He's such a good boy. You should put a picture of the screen on the screen of this the other day. We took them for a run around in a park. Um, Crisp got so sloppy that he had slob all over his face. Do you remember it? Like oh, down here disgusting. and it went over his nose. So we're just going to put a little picture of that up now. So you can see. Enjoy. Will you edit it onto my hand? Yeah, we can put it on your hand there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, so. enjoy Chris's slob <laughs> of circle crap around his face. Good. Any other business? What can we expect? I do want you to pass your test so we can get you yeah, a runaround, yeah. we'll get you a McCann, whatever it is. You can share my Polestar 3 or my Tesla, whatever it is at that point, for little errand journeys around the place if you're not confident about the charging thing. Um, when I pass my test, we'll just turn this whole channel and we'll call it CG. Yeah. And um, it will just be. I'll just take over and I'll just tell Fine. you all about the cars that I drive. Mm -hmm. Tom can occasionally feature as a guest, like maybe every now and then. You know what? I've maybe. been doing this for so long, nothing will make me happier okay. than just not making And I'll just anymore. give you, a, I'll tell you all about the cars. I'll like, give you the Squarespace script. I even knew today how to set up the camera and do the rev, so I can do that. I can show you how loud and noisy the car is. Yep. I can tell you where the mirrors are. I can tell you how loud the radio is. It's already getting better than my channel already is. I it's won't be than... able to explain the emojis on there. I'll try. Emojis? Are they are like this. Emojis? Yeah, what? like the little... The, um, okay, we're going to have to look, have a little pep talk if you are to hang out uh, and get over... Uh, uh, we're gonna to have to have a little pep talk if we are to take over from the channel. You know, um, like the emojis that come up when you like need fuel and stuff. Yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, emojis. Emo yeah, emojis. Yeah, yeah, they're emojis. And as I touched on before, the Porsche Club uh, road trip around Europe video. I do want to get you a 993 or 964 911, and I want you Who to what? Who that is? Just a, a, like a vintage 911, like a 90s. You know Kendall Jenner's 911? Yeah. That sort of shape, 911. Love it. Do you remember when Keanu Reeves picked up a Christmas tree with his 911? No. Oh, I've seen, seen the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's seen that. I love that. It's picture. that shape. That's the Kendall Jenner shape. Uh, Although it's yeah, nothing it's to do with cool. the Jenners. That actually yeah. makes that car worse. But. Uh, that shape because they did make them in automatics because you've only got an automatic mm, license. Yeah, so I'm not too manual. Sorry. I do want you to buy it. Well, I'll, we we can buy it together, mm -hmm. and then we can do a series on the channel whereby you do some work to that because you can customize those and you can I do some stuff that. with with Kai and fabrics and print. Yeah, you can do your own interior in that and and do some bits and bobs. And there's a couple of really cool girls on Instagram that, that do really some cool. Porsche stuff. Um, you should probably put their Instagram. No, they've got to pay me for that. Okay, so I won't do <laughs> Nah, nah, you can be the UK version of them. Okay. They're wicked anyway. I actually, I actually, I follow them and I like them, so. You send me them, I want to follow them. Yeah, I said you need to be doing this. Okay. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh. um, so yeah, 964 or 993 uh, automatic, or maybe even 906, but probably 993 I think we'll be going for. Um, so that is to come on the channel. Uh, that's about it, really, for now. I'm, I can't really let you drive many of my cars when you do pass because they're mostly manuals. Yeah. Uh, the GT3 Touring is automatic, uh, so you might get a drive in that. Um, it is actually horrendous to drive, so you probably don't want to. Okay. Uh, that's it. Anything else? Are you not so thirsty after that lunch? I am quite thirsty, yeah. I swear that gravy was just salt. Yeah. Just had literally chips and gravy. It was so nice, though. Um, yeah, lots of videos to come when I pass my test. 
Yes. Really fun. I'm really excited for it. I have decided I actually really love driving. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I have an amazing instructor as well. He's just fab. And I think he watches your channel. So. Does he? Thank you, Danny. You're the best. <laughs> yeah. Get a life, Danny. <laughs> no, he's so <laughs> nice. Oh my God, cut that off. No, but I'm insulting everyone by saying that. Not just Danny. If I'm saying if you watch my channel, you need to get a life, that's me insulting everyone. Oh, okay. So it's a joke. Okay, fine. He's so nice. I love him. But yeah. Steady, Danny. I'll kill you. Oh, cut all of this out. That's so embarrassing. Tom, I just said I have a really nice driving instructor who's been really good and is actually helping I've told him to get a life and threatened to kill him. Okay, well, I'll make you cut that out because he's the nicest man in the world. I'm joking. Well, yeah, but he might take it personally. But he won't because it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to kill your driving instructor. <laughs> like, it's fine. Uh, sorry, Danny. <laughs> okay, bye. See you guys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>